This is Info Live TV headline news, June 5th. I'm Daniel Ben Nun. An Israeli man was killed and four other people were wounded on Thursday when Palestinian militants in the Gaza Strip fired a mortar shell into kibbutz near Oz in the western Negev. Three of the casualties were moderately wounded and the force sustained minor wounds in the strike. All of the victims were hit by shrapnel from the shell. Hamas Iz al Din al Qassam brigades have claimed responsibility for the attack. Iran is threatening to sue countries that it says have damaged its reputation and pushed to have U.N. Security Council involvement in its nuclear program. It is also accusing the U.S. of producing false evidence in order to pressure the International Atomic Energy Agency to probe Iran's nuclear program. The comments were made on Thursday to the 35-nation board of the IAEA by Ali Ashgar Soltani, Iran's chief delegate to the agency. Syrian President Bashar Assad said that if Israel keeps insisting that recently renewed peace talks between the new nations resume from scratch, it would signify that Israel was not serious about reaching a peace deal with Syria. Israel and Syria said last month they had launched indirect peace talks mediated by Turkish officials, the first negotiations between the two sides in eight years. After his meeting with U.S. President George W. Bush in Washington on Wednesday, Prime Minister Ehud Olmert said that the end of Iran's controversial nuclear program was approaching. Olmert added that as a result of the hour-long meeting with Bush, there were fewer question marks between the two allies concerning the means, the time constraints, and the level of American determination in dealing with the Iranian nuclear program. Labor Party ministers are leaning towards supporting a vote to dissolve the Knesset in June over police allegations that Prime Minister Ehud Olmert accepted illicit funds from American billionaire Morris Talansky. Labor Party ministers met on Thursday to discuss the latest political developments caused by the Talansky corruption affair. It appears that a growing number of party members want to vote in favor of dissolving the Knesset on June 18th. Solar power companies were enthusiastic on Wednesday about the approval this week of a plan to encourage household solar electricity generation. The Public Utilities Authority approved a plan on Monday to buy electricity at 2.01 shekels per kilowatt from individuals and companies who install solar panel systems on their roofs. For the latest in sports news, please tune in to our daily sports update at InfoLive TV. Thank you for watching InfoLive TV, Israel's only internet television network that broadcasts in four languages from Jerusalem to the world.